How many times have I told you not to ever touch my I want to thank you both for taking out the time to be here. Thank you for having us. Mm. So, uh, Josh, tell me what's the problem. Well, I can't take it anymore. I just can't. I can't. I can't. Well, then let's start from the beginning. Okay. A few months ago, he came to my house saying he had nowhere else to stay. I took him in because, I mean, he's a good guy, a friend and a brother. So uh, I guess the overstayed is welcome. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't mind him staying for as long as he likes. I mean, I told him he could stay for as long as he likes. In fact, I love the idea of a friend around to talk with, to work with, to help out with stuff. So, so what happened? What changed? Well, I can tolerate a lot of things, but ingratitude isn't one of them. This guy now feels entitled to the favors I do for him. I pay for food and he eats, and that's not a problem. I pay for the air conditioning, the water, the lights, and the electricity bills, and he uses them. But that's not even the problem. In fact, I like it when he uses them. But a simple thank you, a simple thank you, I don't get. Or when was the last time you thanked me? Eh? Answer me! You hear that? I see. And now he complains. Can you believe that? He actually complains. Are you okay? Uh uh. You're too small for me now. What do you mean? And then now he has even graduated into taking what doesn't belong to him because he's not satisfied. I mean, what kind of what kind of ingratitude is that? I mean, I should have smacked you more than I did. Uh, it's okay, Josh. It's okay. Now, Jay. Hmm? It's important to always show gratitude, even though you're entitled to to certain things. Tell him more. Josh has been helpful to you all the while, so a little thank you now and then will make him do more happily. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Now, Josh. Yes. I have a question for you. Okay. When was the last time you showed gratitude to God for your life, your arms, and your legs? The air you breathe, the clothes you wear, and the house that you live in?